Hey, once again, we're back. It's another Age of Empires 4 replay. Today, I'm playing as the English up against uh, a Mongolian opponent. And I'm playing on Black Forest. This map is a very uh, safe map. You've pretty much got all this area with tons of resources on the... Uh, just adjacent to your main town center. And I typically have been playing aggressive on this map, though it's really not the way to play. Unfortunately, losing my scout there shouldn't have uh, shouldn't have had him go straight into the opponent's TC like that, his town center. I like to go aggressive on this map, although it's really just not the way to play this one. I want to see if it'll work, though. And this Mongolian opponent is, it, it, it makes the opportunity viable. It, it, makes the, it makes the aggression viable because my opponent can't build walls, so there's no easy wall offs here. So I can get easy access into my opponent's base. Right now I'm looking around to see if I can find a, uh, looking around to see if I can find a dock that my opponents put down. Wow, he actually killed the sheep that was following my uh, scout. I find the uvu here. Nothing under it just yet, so no immediate aggression from my opponent. And I assume there's a dock going down over here. I decide I'll get a dock of my own, but still mix in some aggression. I think this was kind of a, a weird in-between to go by getting both a dock and trying to be aggressive, but gonna see if it works out. Now I spot the dock. I'm saying to myself, this spot right here is where I'm gonna want to apply my aggression. Opponent cleverly getting my scout to attack his uh, con and then putting the uh, villagers in and that kills off another one of my scouts. Very frustrating. I have just no vision into his base. And that con is gonna end up being a real issue as the uh, match goes on. I'm getting my fishing ships, building houses, and now we're moving up to the council hall. Looks like I accidentally built an extra house there, but no harm in it. I've got plenty of wood. Now I really want to send, oh, now the cons here attacking my villagers who are working on the landmark. I should really have maybe a villager start attacking the con. And the unfortunate part is I don't have a scout. I lost both of my scouts and he's spotted my villager going out to build the uh, forward barracks. So now I need to retreat this villager, but I think he's going to go down. Yep. So that's one villager lost due to his con. And my opponent reaches the feudal age. I'm probably going to lose another villager to the con. There it is. It's so frustrating losing these villagers to him that there's not much I can do except get a scout out to try and shoo him away. But it might be three villagers here in a second. Yep, there's the third. That is so frustrating. Fortunately, the council hall is finishing, so I can start to send out uh, Longbowman. He has to back off. I've got my scout. I'm spamming out Longbowman. And really what I'm going to try and do is rally up to the north, put some aggression on. But it's wild that I've lost two scouts, three villagers to my opponent already. That's really unfortunate. But here comes my aggression. So it's three longbowmen, a scout, two villagers. We're basically just going to go, yeah, right along this rally path here try to take out what we can. On the back side, I'm going to put down some walls. We're going to continue to get our fishing ships, although this is probably all I really need. Uh, we're just going to keep chopping, and we're moving on to the uh, deer that are here. Arriving at my opponent's base, I want to see what I can find here. I'm going to put down the uh, outpost back here. Got my longbowman ready. I'm going to come forward with my scout. And that's when I see the Kurul tie. So my opponent's trying to get up to the castle age. But I can prevent this by using my longbowman to take shots at the uh, villagers. So there's one villager. So now we've at least traded one villager. 
But I'm realizing as much as I want to take out these fishing ships, I really need to target down the villagers who are building this. You can see every chance he gets, he's going to be putting villagers back on it. Fortunately, I've got more longbowmen rallying here, and this thing takes a while to build. If I could keep my longbowmen attacking, then that'll be really helpful. There's another villager. Over here, I'm having them target down uh, fishing boats. I've had them basically target fire a few of them. Nice, getting more villagers. It, I'm making sure to target fire the villagers. I don't want my longbowmen accidentally coming forward like that, taking uh, town center shots. So we're, we're trading here pretty well. The problem is the moment I pull these longbowmen away, I really need to keep them over here. This was a mistake I made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to keep them over here. That's good. I don't want to move these. Unfortunately, I start targeting the Khan, and I don't know why I backed off there. I really need to target his villagers, though. He's, he's coming forward with all of them. I decide, rather than go for villagers, I'm going to go for fishing ships. I'm not sure if this was the right decision. We're fighting with the Khan. We'll take a shot or two. But now I really want to go for the ships. The problem is, while that was happening, he pretty much committed all of his villagers to building the Kurultai. So he's advanced to the Castle Age, and now I suspect, yeah, there's already a stable over here. So he's going to be making uh, lancers. He's going to be making knights. There's not too much I can do about it. On the back end, back home, I'm thinking I need barracks. It's good that I'm doing all this economic damage. I mean, this is really good. It's great that I'm taking out these fishing ships. And the dock is almost dead as well. But all these troops are going to be lost. I should really be pulling back these longbowmen that I've been rallying because they're, they're pretty much doomed here. Yeah, I can kind of condense into this back area, but here come the uh, the Lancers. And he can produce them two at a time. You can see they're coming in in pairs. That's because he's used the, uh, the stone that he gathered. And these just destroy my Longbowmen. There's not really much I can do here. But on the back end, I'm saying to myself, okay, let's get down some barracks. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm prioritizing the archery range with my build. But all my opponent's going to send at me are a bunch of Lancers. I can already tell. He's got the Uvu here. It's probably got two stables next to it. And he's just going to spam out these Lancers. You can see he's pretty much just going to spend his gold and food on night after night. I was fortunate enough to be able to tech up to the next age on the back of all of this. So we are coming for we are putting down the uh, the king's palace here. But there's about to be a horde of uh, horsemen, uh, knights heading our way. Trying to get down barracks, I should really be prioritizing these. I need these up now and making uh, spearmen. And then once the uh, once we age up, upgrading them to the uh, more advanced spearmen. Though I will say this barracks is buying us time. He's using all of his uh, lancers to burn down the barracks. And that's giving me time to uh, get down my, my, my own barracks back here in my base. Now it kind of becomes a race against time. It'll be nice having the King's Palace. That'll be another defensive structure that I can throw my villagers into. But a lot of my villagers are up here. Uh, chopping wood. Some gathering uh, gold and stone over here. It's good we're still fishing. My opponent's... Uh, fishing operation was halted so you can see these fishing ships aren't doing anything and my opponent does an interesting play here gonna bring the cruel tie forward here come the lancers deer stones right here providing some uh, extra movement to cavalry now he's gonna be burning down this uh, palisade gate once he breaks through, it's just going to be my spearman. I think I made the mistake of coming forward to try to defend this position. Really, I could have waited for his uh, knights to come back here. Instead, I'm sending my spearmen forward. They cannot take on this many. Ten lancers against seven spearmen, it's not going to work. And they really need to get upgraded. 
you'll see the upgrade was actually like three quarters of the way finished. If I had maybe backed off, rallied more troops here, and waited for the upgrades, we could have done a lot better. Because the spearmen do do good damage, but I just don't see it happening. The Krultai, this was an interesting one. The, when the Khan's nearby, the Krultai heals all damaged units and provides a damage bonus for 30 seconds. So as long as his Khan is in the fight, he's going to be giving all of these knights extra bonuses. Here I'm trying to get my villagers into the uh, town center, but we're losing many of them. And at this point, I'm feeling like the game's over. If only I had uh, rallied my spearmen back a little more prioritized these barracks a little more. It would have been a good battle. I think it could have been a good fight. Um, heck, I'm at 38 villagers. He's at 43. Even with the losses from these knights charging in, surprisingly close. The Krultai, though, very powerful in that it's healing these units. I mean, this is such an all-in play. It's really cool to see. But yeah, these uh, lancers are getting healed up. He can basically continue to retreat and come forward whenever he wants. It was a good game. Uh, I'm still not sure about my strategy on Black Forest. Maybe I should just play it safe and tech up. But I did like this aggression. It worked out pretty well that I was dealing so much damage to his villagers and his farming, uh, his fishing operation. Hope you can make it next time, and we'll see you then.